Thank you so much for your company this morning. Author Emma Farry is now with us to tell us all about her new book, Freedom Song, which is full of inspirational words as well as the beautiful artwork of internationally recognised artist Ewan McDougall. Thank you so much for joining us, Emma. Thanks for having me. Uh, first up, tell us a little bit about tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, <laughs> um, where do I start? Um, I've been a journalist most of my life, mm -hmm. but lately uh, I've been the last two years I've put out two books consecutively, um, and this is my second one of recent times and it's basically all about um, the times we're living in you know we're living in anxious times right mm. now and it's a lot of people are feeling really um, ungrounded and worried about the way the world is this book is basically about our common humanity the things that bring us together not the things that make us separate right yeah. and what gave you the light bulb moment for this was there a you know a situation that was occurring in your life personally or was it just your reflections of the world it's a funny thing mike you know this the words for this book have been with me since i was 25 years old wow crazy um, and it's a long time ago <laughs> <laughs> well not that long but anyway yeah, true. <laughs> um yeah but i was working as a journalist i was a young journalist working on a real life documentary on once were warriors the kind of poverty that that this movie sprung from i was with rena owen who was the um the star of yeah. the show Brilliant. she was fabulous and we were going around all these different poverty stricken environments talking to these people who just had no hope there was a lot of despair one woman just stuck with me so strongly she you know told us in detail the story of how she lost her child who was about 18 months to her um abusive partner and that I got, went home that night and I was just so crushed. I was still a young, young yeah. journalist, you know. Went to bed that night, woke up, and then this poem just came out straight away about two o'clock in the morning, just wow. like that. So you had the poem there, but it actually took you a long time to do anything with it, didn't it? It took me a long time. So what happened then? Well, basically, when we were living in Dunedin about, we starting, were starting our business in Dunedin about five or so years ago, maybe seven years ago, um, I walked past a gallery in Dunedin and I saw this work on the, on the wall of the gallery and I just thought all of a sudden, finally, after all these years, mm. I found the person, but he took a lot of convincing. Did he? Oh, <laughs> yeah, didn't you did. hate that? Because you, really you took did. this poem with you to New York as well because you lived there, didn't you? I and you did. were living there when, um, 20, when the, the towers happened. came down. It yeah. really helped me at that time just to keep grounded and focused because that was a really horrible time. Mark and I, my uh, fiancé then, um, ended up coming back to New Zealand after that, but you know it's kind of funny how life works because I had some um, I had some offers at that time from some New York publishing companies, but they wanted to use their own illustrations, and then it all fell through, and I was so disappointed. But as life works in you know the way that's always best for us in the long run, this came out, and, and Ewan's the perfect person for, to collaborate with, so it all worked out really well. Yeah, yeah. And I guess that's the beautiful thing about this book. A long time in the making, but every decision was worth the wait because you've ended up with this finished product that is just beautiful. And it feels right. It yeah. Just, yeah, it was. It was kind of in the end, it was easy. But you know how life's always like that. Everything seems hard, and then all of a sudden, it's it, okay. It's done. You got this beautiful book. So yeah. you've got um, you've got Ewan. And you're trying to convince him. Why did what, what did you do? Like, how did just, you convince okay, him? Okay, so first of all, we were all set and everything seemed fine, but this wasn't the right time for him. And so we were sort of halfway through the um, the book, and we had all, some illustrations and stuff. And then he just couldn't do it because he had some health issues, and it just wasn't the right timing. And so again, I was, you know, disappointed. <laughs> but I just um, waited another couple of years, and then got in touch with him again, and it was the perfect timing. So, and I think it's the right timing in the world too. So mm. I think, you know, how everything aligns. Yeah, it's very relevant, yeah. it seems, at the moment with everything yeah. you're right that's going on. Jeez, beautiful artwork, isn't it? I mean, it is just beautiful. Yeah, he's very talented. You know, he's, he's had his whole lifetime of art and he was so generous because he actually gift, he gifted us, you know, all his lifetime of art to look through. Myself and the designer who had such a field day matching the words with the images. It was fun. That would have been really yeah. fun, yeah. actually. Good so effort. this is awesome. Uh, you've, you had another book out. You mentioned that you've done two in the last two years. Yes. So tell us a little bit about Beloved. The first one's actually, um, it was a response to losing my mum, which was really hard. And um, I actually went to, I found a rock at the end of the beach where I was living down south in Karatane Beach. And I sat on that rock as much as I could because I'm a mum and a businesswoman and everything at, um, to kind of, get, you know, kind of come to terms with my grief. Mm. And the little blessings and the photographs that I took around that time informed the book. And it's been really helpful, it's been really cool. It's been used by Youthline, um, Salvation Army for their, um, you know, some of their programs. They give it out when people graduate and those kind of things. And it's also been really helpful for people that are, you know, um, managing grief, mm. lost people that they love. So that's been really cool too, but completely different from this one. So it's a kind of different but the same. Yeah. And are there any writers in your family? Because clearly you've been inspired by life's fragile activities, but you yeah. managed to put it into words, being a journalist, being an author. 
Uh, did you get that from some family member? Actually, my dad's a writer, but he, he um, does like family books and those kind of things, which are really good. Um, but there, my family's quite um, an eclectic mix, and there's a lot of philosoph you know philosophers in the mix and crazy people in the mm. mix and <laughs> good, good and um, good and fabulous people in the mix. So I think that's probably been an inspiration to me, which makes it perfect. Well, the thing is about this book too is that Joy Cowley, who is like a you know really oh, well known legend. famous yes. uh, writer, she she's actually endorsed this book. I know, and she did for the first one too. I didn't know her, and I sent it to her. She sent me the most amazing response, like a few days later, in the post because she didn't she doesn't use um, social media that much. And with this one, it was. Was the same thing and she said that she'd been using it in her life um, in a therapeutic way. I still haven't met her in person and I really hope to. Well that's amazing because she must get so many people doing exactly this saying I've written this book could you, you know, know do a little writing for it or sort of say something about it and um, so for her to do your books is something quite special and both of them. I feel yeah I feel very um, so blessed about that and I think she's on a spiritual path too so it was it was very very lucky. And that's a great thing with that book you can pick it up you can have a read through you can be inspired and see some beautiful art nice and quick which I love. What's next Emma? What are you be doing. I've got some ideas, but I won't say about them yet. So I've got to keep keep moving, keep keep bringing okay, things well out. Okay, you come on the show next time you're oh, ready. Oh, please, then. Is that that all right? be yeah, awesome. Sweet. You can't slack now. <laughs> Two books in two years. It's been an absolute pleasure chatting with it's you. Been a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. Emma's book, Freedom Song, is available from all great bookstores right now, and you can check out Emma's website for more details as yeah. well. Yeah, congratulations, Emma. Thanks for being here.